Hello YouTube, this is XX Annual Live PSPXX on aka PSP Slim Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to talk about on why uh, custom firmware is bad. Well, first of all, Sony knows that you got custom firmware by if you try to go to the PlayStation logo or anything like let's say PlayStation Store, you try to sign in, you get this message saying that a system, so the system software update is required for the PSP. Well, today I'm going to show you on how to bypass this. Well, this is another XX and the Life tutorial. And then to to um to get full access of my entire YouTube channel, click right there. It says uh, subscribe. It says somewhere around there. Please click on it. It really helps me. And also, thumbs up the video. Go into the li link in the description. And then uh, click it. You download it. Save file, OK, and all of that stuff. Uh, once once it's done downloading, you double click it, and then now connect your PSP to your computer, and then go to the SE plugins in the root of your memory stick, and then uh, move the PNS PN PSN lover PRX from the file you downloaded to the SE plugins on your PSP, and then once you, I'm not gonna do it because I already have it in there, and then once you've done that, create a text document and name it VSH. Double click on it and then copy and paste this code. I'm gonna have it in the description, so don't worry about it. And then create another text document and then name it game. And then uh, copy and paste that, paste that code. The same thing. And then once you've done that, we go back to the PSP. Okay, you exit out of USB. Oh, sorry about that. You exit out of USB. Go to the PlayStation, and I'm I'm just gonna show you that um it's still blocked on custom firmware I'm just gonna show you the same error soft system software required alright now what I'm gonna do is uh press select oh wait you press select and then go to reset device and then hold the right trigger to boot up into recovery mode. Alright, once recovery mode opens up, go to, go down to plugins. And then, as you can see, I have like a lot of plugins. Just um, enable psnlover.prx in the game. And then enable PS, psnlover.prx in the VSH. And then go back. Then go to exit. And then the PSP gets another boot up. Alright, now you now you could um go back to the PlayStation Network, click on it, now as you can see it doesn't say uh software required. Now you you could have full access to PlayStation. See, you could download every single thing. Everything's all cool. Oh, and to prove it that I have custom firmware, I'm just just gonna go into system settings. Say it's 5.0 M33. All right, that's about it. Um. Now what you want to do is um right there. Click on the subscribe button right there, it's free. And um and then also thumbs up my video, it really helps me. So um comment, thumbs up and subscribe for more PSP tutorials. This is XXNO Live PSP, aka PSP Slim Hacks. Bye.